My name is Jeff with Palm Beach RV in West Palm Beach, Florida. Today what we're going to do is go over a jack fault that you might see on the ground control 3.0 leveling system. Whether you have the, the six point or the four point, it's the same procedure. And we're going to do a rehoming fault code. If you look at the touch pad, it tells you that it's in a fault and it tells you what the fault is with the jacks. Basically what we have to do to get that done is you want to make, first make sure that your entry step was folded in. This is going to have to drop the nose of the fifth wheel to clear this code and you want to make sure that the entry step does not interfere with anything so we're going to make sure the entry step was folded in. The next thing we're going to do with this in the fault, all you have to do is extend the jacks about six inches. So we're just going to hold the front button, it's going to raise the front of it and we want to do about six inches. Do the middle jacks, we're going to hold these two buttons down and the middle jacks are going to come down. We're going to want to put those down about six inches. Once those are down six inches, of course we go to the back and we hit the back down six inches. And all it has to be is six inches, they don't have to touch the ground. Just bring them down six inches. Once you got the jacks down six inches, all we're going to do is simply retract and just make sure there's nothing that's going to come in contact underneath the undercarriage or underneath the pin box. So we're going to push and hold the retract button until it starts retracting. This will clear the code from the fault jack and it's called a rehoming procedure and that will get rid of this fault code. So once this goes through this procedure and the jacks are retracted, it kind of basically tells the control board where the jacks are at the time and then it's going to go to a jacks ready then you could go into your auto level procedure and your normal setup stay camping and have fun